Church, grant and beseech you that, supported by his prayers and example, we may have the strength to boldly confess the cross of Christ as our only hope. He lives and reigns with you, Father, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the work of ministry, I build up the body of Christ. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner of the Lord, urge you to live in a manner that is worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gifts. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the Holy One for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of full stature in Christ. <coughs> The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Our response to Psalm, the response is, You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord, you are, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast, my Lord. You are my Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I say to the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You are my Lord. You will show me. He, you will show me the path to life, fullness of joy in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You, you are my inheritance, inheritance, O Lord. Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Lord. Chapter 16, verses 24 to 27. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wished to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit? would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? 
for the son of man will come with his angels in his father's glory and then he will repay each one according to his conduct this is the good news of our lord jesus christ praise, praise to the lord, lord jesus christ <coughs> Dear brothers and sisters, uh, uh, yesterday we have celebrated the most sacred heart of Jesus, the patron of our congregation. Uh, today we are celebrating the immaculate heart of Mary. We have uh, in our congregation, Mary has an uh, important place for the church and for our congregation mainly. And uh, <clears throat> Mary had a heart, human heart, that she received like any, like any of us from God. But she prepared her heart to receive the Holy Spirit, so that Holy Spirit may live uh, in her heart. And she always uh, ready to listen to this Spirit. That's what we see uh, in her life. Mary lived in this earth. She experienced, tested all the sufferings of the world. She is now in heaven. Uh, she can in intercede for us uh, to God, to her son. So she is uh, always praying, interceding for her sons and daughters, those who are in this earth. That's why uh, we call Mary, we pray Mary, we venerate Mary, we ask her assistance uh, for us. So uh, today, once again, the church reminds us <coughs> the place of Mary in the church, the position, her presence, how it is important. And uh, in the reading, uh, gospel reading of uh, today's gospel reading, not this one, <clears throat> that's written that Mary, she did not re respond immediately. She heard, she listened to the word of God and she put it in her heart. And she tried to understand what does it mean. And sometimes we have also sometimes tendency to respond, to react. Huh? Uh, but um, uh, Mary uh, come to us today <coughs> to tell us to take time to receive the word of God, reflect on it, and to respond, to uh, try to understand what is the will of God in my life. And I hope you had a <coughs> good guided visit with uh, Tiffen. And uh, as we are gathered here before the tomb of Basil Moro, Basil Moro, you, you know that he was uh, buried in Holy Cross Cemetery and then we put his uh, body here in the crypt and this is the third place huh? uh, here. So we cannot put someone's body if somebody is not canonized, so at least beatified. So that's why we waited until 2003, um, 15th of September he was beatified, his body is here. And uh, did Tiffen explain why his head is this way? You explained. Okay. So Father Moro is here. This is the, according to the um, uh, First Sister's explanation, writings. Uh, his body is like this way. And uh, we pray, uh, Basil Moro, we pray for him. We ask God's blessing so that he may become canonized soon uh, to glorify God. This is not our glorification for our glorification but the glorification of the church of, of God the Almighty <coughs> we offer all our intentions uh, the, uh, the intentions we have in our heart we want to pray for ourselves or for somebody else for a special intention. Now, in silence, we can offer to the Almighty God. I also would like to have a 
have a very special intention during this year, 150th year of our modern century to eternal life, that uh, he, will, he will be recognized by the Universal Church for his holiness and uh, his canonization may be sooner. <coughs> but this year, a noble year for us because of his canonization. Let's pray for his speedy canonization at this moment. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Lord. 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 For the grace and glory of His name, Father, the Lord, and the Lord, Most merciful God, who were pleased to create in blessed Basil the new man in your image the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed <coughs> like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation <coughs> through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever, everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of uh, bless, Blessed Basil Maho, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of human glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. (laughs) 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John Pierre, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> with him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom of God and the glory of Jesus, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on your sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I will be and give me a of my roof, but I will see the world, and my soul shall be in it.
Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless our soul in Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Let us pray. May the mysteries of we have received, O Lord, prepare us, we pray, for the eternal joys that as a faithful steward, blessed Basil came to deserve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. You can sing the hymn of Mary. Holy words in my God's degree, you were called eternally, that he could give his son to our race. Mary, we praise you in full of grace.
something to say? Just a few things to tell you. Here you have prayers. Uh, you have the 150th anniversary prayer. It's in French and in English. You can take as many as you want. You already have this one and this is the pilgrim.